All right, guys, we're about to take you guys back out on the waters of Beaufort, South Carolina, back out here shrimp trawling on the Drag Queen. I got my good buddy that was Graham with me today, and I got my son Christopher. We're going to go out here and we're going to try to wreck these shrimp today. We're going to give you guys a little, little look at the boat that we're going to be trawling on today. This is the Drag Queen. She's a 25 foot Parker. She's powered by a 5.7 liter Mercruiser gas engine. We got our cool table right here under the net on the back of the box. We got an electric winch back here. We got another little cat head right here, electric cat head. And a little quick looking tour of the boat. A little dark here this morning, but this is where we're going to be today. It's 6 30 right now and we're about to head three miles offshore with you guys we on the way guys and they calling for two foot seas today offshore i'm sure hoping for a good day um, if you know anything about the channel and they'll follow along guys i bought this boat last year done had to pull the motor out it done had to do a lot of work to it and this is kind of like just a trial day for us so i thank you guys for coming along we need all the luck we get, can get today if we get them we get them if we don't we don't we still gonna go out here and try to have a good time just try to stay safe and be positive out here on this trip that's all we can do you know very cool if we get them it's just because the good lord wanted us to right yeah, yeah. lord bless us with them that's right we got good luck in here yeah, we got yeah. luck on our side right yeah, yeah we got luck on our side any day that's right all right guys we're gonna run you offshore you guys were here to see the sunrise this morning it sure is beautiful we're rolling along about 24 mile an hour right now and it is beautifully calm out here this morning Praying that everything goes good today, guys. Praying that these guys have a good time.
the distance. We're going past the houses on the end of uh, St. Helena Island in the Morgan River. This is Monkey Island over here to our left. And this is a sandbar usually comes out right here. And a lot of boaters that come out here, they come out here for the day with their families just to hang out, maybe cook out, fish a little bit. Um, I just seen a big fish jump way over there, guys. <laughs> I'm glad you come along with us, Grant. Yeah. Everybody's been asking about you on YouTube, man. I've been going all over the place. He's been all over the place. I'm going on some chores for uh, a couple more weeks on go fishing. That's right, Grant. nautical miles 
starting to dead in the ground, starting to put the net out. So, guys, we figured out, you know, uh, why the motor was overheating, for sure. The impeller, you know, it's destroyed. It is melted down to us, nothing. And I want to give you guys a look at what a new one looks like, because I thought that I was already dealing with this issue. I had purchased this boat. We had went through, uh, you know, changing out impeller and stuff before on it. And to be honest with you, we actually hooked the uh, two hoses up on it backwards when we started it up. It had run dry a little bit. So this impeller had got way overheated. And I had already ordered one. I really didn't know if this thing was bad or not, but I did suspect it. And 
you can see this thing is I mean it's just melted in here that's part of the what would have been the impeller but guess what guys we don't just buy impellers when we buy stuff we buy the whole thing We're gonna get this thing put back together here. How y'all doing? Guys, um, was interrupted a little bit. Had to, but a good friend bar our tool, right? But um, this kit, it came with the housing and there was a O-ring right here that we've already slid in. There's your new impeller right here. That's gonna slide. Yeah, it's only gonna fit on there one way. You see it's D-shaped. So, this and this, I did order it offline, and I think this kit right here with the wear plate and everything was about thirty dollars, maybe thirty-five. So not too bad if we can get this thing, you know, back together. We're gonna shoot for the best. We're gonna hope for the best. We're gonna stick it back together, guys. So guys, we've installed another little O-ring right here. And we're putting our wear plate on. We're gonna put our impella with the d shape it only goes on one way and an easy way to get with these things in if you got any type of soap lubricant or anything like that and i wouldn't be too worried about it even if you used a little bit of oil or something like that on it because time as you start the motor back up and running it you're going to get most of these chemicals off back off of the impeller itself so then what i do is once i got that i put them on and you're gonna have to hold this in right here because this spins right inside of there right so you're gonna hold that in and as you go in twist so guys in life our work never ends right you know what i mean always gonna have this voat break out in all the piles and that close right we got the water pump back in, we brought the boat back out on the water, and we're running at 130 degrees. So I think the new color has solved some of our issues with the boat. Now I got my little granddaughters. Bye, you guys.